You may be willing to create Instagram Reels as part of your content marketing plan on behalf of your business since word's gotten out to you that even Instagram CEO Adam Mosseri has stressed the importance of having a video first approach to the content that you post to that platform. But now that you've made the decision to move forward, you might be asking yourself, how do I plan out my Instagram Reels so that they aren't just videos I create, but actual content that converts. What do I do to plan out what Instagram reels I create and when I publish them to my Instagram business account? Well, if those are the kinds of questions you're asking yourself right now, then this video is for you. Hey, what's up everybody? It's Stacey Storino. Welcome back to my channel, the number one place to learn about crafting content that converts content consumers into actual customers. I've got eight years of experience coaching thousands of students across the world under my belt. And a lot of what I've seen has led me to create this video titled how to plan your Instagram reels if you're a business owner. But before we get started, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to get the help that entrepreneurs like you need to succeed with content marketing that drives traffic to your business so that you could do more business. Now, first up, know your business goals for the month. Give me a quick second to wind up and I'm gonna make the Instagram Reels-based pitch in terms of this piece of advice, okay? I'll make it quick. Look, too many students come to me and they're treating their business like a hobby and not like a business, really, meaning that they're not planning to have two sales promotions a month, at least. If you want to make more money, one of the things you need to do is make more offers. It's common sense, but it's amazing how few people really do act on that piece of advice. My six-figure, multiple six-figure, and even my seven-figure students know that advice actually pays off. Even my handmade business students who are running a sale once a week on average tend to make more money, eventually earning themselves into a whole new tax bracket by doing this, by making more offers. But two sales a month is a minimum. So here comes how the Instagram Reels you create on behalf of your business factors into all of this. Once you've planned your two sales promotions for the month, minimum, once you've marked those days off on your calendar, you'll know that on those days, that you publish Instagram Reels, they should be sales based in terms of their theme or purpose. That could mean that the Instagram Reels you publish on those days include specific mentions of your sales. Sure, but I'd also have quite a few Instagram Reels published that spotlight an individual product, service, course, or other type of offering that you'd have available for sale. At the end of each Instagram Reel, a message, maybe via text overlay, should appear with a call to action that encourages the viewer to buy that offering that you just highlighted at a discount by going to the link in your bio where they can sign up onto your email list in exchange for a coupon good for say 20% or more off their purchase. And if you want to restrict it so that they can't combine that coupon or coupon code with any other offers because you're running a site-wide sale, let's say, at the time you drop these types of Instagram reels, so be it. Let folks know. A few quick points. Number one, keep in mind that Instagram reels currently can only go up to 60 seconds in length. And around 30 to 45 seconds is typically enough to get the job done right now. A lot of attention spans can fatigue on that platform as of right now. So you don't have to spend forever in a day making content. Number two, the link in bio should be to your email opt-in page where you can capture as many qualified leads as possible. If someone won't get onto your email list when it's free for them to do so, then they aren't likely gonna buy from you anyway. Who's gonna turn down a discount today? Seriously. And once you capture that lead, you can sell to them via email every single month if you like. Approximately three quarters of a healthy business's sales should come from its email list enrollees alone. But wait, Stacy, you say, how will they be able to shop my website then if the link in bio is to my email opt-in form and not taking them to my website only? 
Well, the email that delivers the coupon code can have your website link in there too. No sweat. Finally, number three, if you're like 20% off the purchase, that'll kill my profit margins. Well, I have two responses to that concern. First, price high enough so that you can discount low enough as needed to trigger great sales while protecting your profit margins. Second, go ahead and Google the statistics if you don't want to believe me, but if you have a coupon or sale where someone could save less than 20% off, the conversions drop a lot. 20% is actually a floor, not a ceiling. If you can go to 30% off to capture that lead on your email list, then do that. So before we go on to the next point, remember, you should run at least two sales promotions a month. You should plan out when those promotions start and when they stop. Then plan out, create, and plug in Instagram Reels on those days that promote the sales, promote the products or services or other types of offerings on sale, that sort of thing. And if you're a coach or a course creator and you're like, Stacy, I can promote my course once a month, sure, but what would my second sales promotion be? Super quick, you could be an affiliate for a tool that you use on the regular and your second sales promotion could drive traffic to an affiliate link where you get paid a portion of the proceeds from the sale. You could sell merch, drive people to a Patreon account. Really, there are so many possibilities. I'll have to create another video down the road to cover them all. So, so many, no matter what business model you're running. Anyway, point two, when you're not selling, build rapport. So after you plugged in your two minimum sales promotions into the calendar for the month, and you know what days you're creating Instagram reels that are more sales-based in nature, all of the days left over are days in which you can build rapport by publishing a reel a day that is more relationship marketing based as a theme. So what kind of tip, trick, or technique can you share? One per reel, one reel per day, that would help your ideal customer address their main pain point that serves as an intersecting interest, a connection point between people like them with the concern or pain point that they have with a business like yours, with offerings like yours that can help them get out of pain and into pleasure. Plan out a tip, trick, technique, piece of advice, what have you, that would mean a lot to your ideal customer. And then when you demo it on your Instagram reel, make sure that somehow, some way, ideally, you're showcasing a product, if you're a products-based business, as part of the tip, trick, technique, etc. Make sense? At the end of your reel, either encourage people to visit your link in bio, or to comment with any questions, or to reach out to you via the DMs or direct messages for more information. No random acts of content. Every piece of content has to convert, and a call to action will get you the conversions you need for your business to succeed. Fail to plan, plan to fail. Once you've planned out your sales-based and relationship marketing-based content for the entire month, it'll be easier for you to get the conversions you need for your business to succeed. So now I want to hear from you. Will you be planning out your daily Instagram Reels-based content with my advice in mind? Do you have any questions for me about this sort of planning? Well, go ahead, comment below. I do read your comments. And if you want more help in terms of distinguishing yourself from the crowd and increasing your trustworthiness in the eyes of your niche, I actually have a freebie for you to pick up called 10 Reasons Why You're Viewed as a Fake Guru and How to Gain Credibility and Customers Instead. And you can pick it up at don'tbeafakeguru.com. The link for you to score that freebie guide is in the show notes or the description down below. There you have it. You now have my answer when it comes to the issue of how to plan your Instagram reels if you're a business owner. Need more help? Be sure to check out these two awesome videos too because they'll teach you great content marketing strategies that can also help to blow up your business. Enjoy.